Hi everyone, I'm Dhruv Arora. Today we are going to talk about propellers. I've got so many propellers with me, all kinds like carbon fiber, wooden, ABS, APC. I've got a folding propeller here. So I'm going to tell you a bit more exactly how you're going to select a good propeller for yourself for an RC plane. First of all, let me tell you the propeller's job is to convert the engine power or the motor power into thrust to pull or push the plane through the air. Thrust is generated exactly in the same way as lift is generated by a wing on a plane and that's why props have a kind of a profile. You can see all props, for example this one would have some kind of a profile, it has an angle here. So the twist in the propeller is there to create an essential angle of attack. Uh, basically it's just like the wing uh, on a plane that has an angle of attack, it's exactly the same way. The twist is greater towards the hub of the propeller because of the varying air speeds along the length of the blades and hence varying thrust generation. Uh, this difference occurs because the tips of the propeller blades they move faster than the inner portions of the blades. So the angle of attack has to change accordingly along the length of the blades. I will show you a picture here, uh, basically demonstrating the angle of attack on the propeller. Now let's talk about the numbers which are written on the propeller. Uh, the first number as you can see here, like I have two propellers here, I will compare it for you, right here. So the first number over here is 10, 10 is basically the diameter of the prop which means the length from tip to tip. The second number over here in this you can see it's 4 and the other one it's 6. Uh, it is the pitch and this is basically a harder number to understand but I will try. Uh, the pitch measurement of a propeller indicates how far the propeller will move through the air per single revolution uh, of the motor or the engine. However, the pitch measurement of the prop must only be a guideline because uh, in real life scenario, uh, there are a lot of factors which have to be taken care of, things like conditions, efficiency, air density. Uh, but essentially, uh, in layman's language, if I want to explain, the higher the pitch, the faster the plane will go. Always remember that, higher the pitch, faster the plane will go. For example, uh, if you're flying a park flyer with a 900 kV motor and then you want a prop with a bigger uh, diameter and a flatter pitch. But in case you have a model with a higher kV motor, then you pick a smaller prop, uh, maybe something like this. And uh, it will have a much bigger pitch as well. So we have different kind of materials as I said being used for propellers, normally a carbon fiber propeller like this, this is a 15 inch, is used uh, on a multi-copter, something like this, a folding blade, it is uh, normally used for a flying wing, something like this is a wooden propeller, it is used depending again on what model you're flying but normally you prefer for a slow flyer since it's a 10 by 4 you have to actually take into consideration a lot of factors you have to also see what motor you're going to use what motor is going to support what size of the propeller normally the manufacturers do guide you on what propeller is most suitable for your motors so you must take care of all these things into consideration before you finalize a propeller all the best with my friends take care of yourselves happy flying